Today I'm going to show you the internals of two of the most common power functions motors, the medium motor here and the extra large motor here. Now both these motors right now don't work. They either have broken parts or the motor in them has just failed. So we're going to actually show the internals of both of them. I've already opened both of these up and resealed them, but we're going to show how it is. Now I'll start with the XL motor here, since that one is a little easier to get open right now. Now with the XL motor, what happened with this motor is the spline broke on me. It actually developed a crack in it. I took the motor apart, tried to fix it, and it didn't work out. But that's really the only piece that's broken. If I actually find someone that has a, another bad XL motor that you know, has the motor not working or something, but this part is still good. I might try to see if they can just send it to me for free or something so I can make this motor usable again. But in order to open this motor, you've got to cut out the tab on this side and turn it around. you got to cut the tab out on that side. And generally the way you do that is you'll take your utility knife like this, and you can also do it with an exacto knife. You take that and then you work the knife. And <laughs> I'm doing this with my webcam trying to get it in view here. You take your knife and you work it into the plastic. And of course you always cut away from yourself because you don't want to get cut up by one of these. And once you cut through the plastic, it's pretty easy to pull it off. You just grab it and then we pull away. And then we separate it. And our two-stage planetary gear reduction is all in there. The actual motor armature is in the casing here. Push it out. And that is our motor armature. And that's what you're going to find inside the XL motors. This is also the same motor armature that's in the NXT motors and the EV3 motors. And on the back side, we usually would find our thermistor and another device on the motor here. And the thermistor is a little round item, and it's usually right here. And what that does, it shorts across the terminals here. So as this motor gets hot, the resistance of that thermistor drops, and it causes current to start flowing through that instead of the motor, which causes the motor to stop turning. This is basically acting as overheat protection for the motor here so that you don't burn the motor up. And you'll usually have that issue when you're running the motor for an extended time under load. You're probably going to notice that the motor will run for a while and then it'll just kind of wind down slowly and then stop. And that's the thermistor on these. I'm doing that. But that is the armature of the XL motor. And again, this motor here works just fine. It's just the planetary gearing and the spline that we have a problem with. So we'll look at that. So this is our two-stage planetary gear reduction. I'm going to try to pull it out here without it all coming apart. And it came apart on me. If I can push it through because I want to get it all out together. There we go. It comes off like that. And again, there's our broken spline that I need to fix. There's a lid here. Take this part out. And that's our second stage of the planetary gear reduction. Let me get this planet gear out. And that's the underside of the spline. So you got these three gears, these planet gears. They all turn. And they turn inside the gearing here. And that acts as your second stage of gear reduction. And we pull this part out. <sighs> And this is our first planetary gear reduction. And the gears are in there, same thing. And this part, these planetary gears connect with that metal gear that's on the actual motor armature. And we got some lubrication in there. And all these gears are coming apart of me. And get them all out. And again, this is the first stage. Yeah, so I'm going to put this all back together. Get that gear in there. This one here. Get 
It's a little tricky putting these all back together at times. Okay. Anyway, it's all back together. It should be able to go back in there and turn just fine. If it's not, that means you don't have the gears in there correctly. Take our second stage and get this one reinstalled in here. Get it lined up. Okay. And then there should be some resistance there. And that's our second stage in there. And you can almost see the gears in there turning. And that's how that planetary two-stage planetary gear reduction works. We take our cap, our cap back on. Just like that. Take our motor armature and get this wire back down through there. Just like that. Take our planetary gear reduction and get it lined up. There, now it's lined up with the gear. And we take our piece. Let's see if I can snap it back on here. And there you go. That is the internals of the XL motor. Now the only problem with the XL motor is because of these tabs you have to cut out. This casing doesn't really stay on anymore. So even if you do manage to repair this, it may not stay together very well. Now what we're going to move on to is the medium size power functions motor. Now this one doesn't have a gearing problem. This one has a motor problem. And this one is set up a little differently. There's a screw at the back here that we have to take out. And again, we have to use our X-Acto knife to cut through the tab here and over here. As you can see, I've already cut this one open. So all I gotta do is get this back screw out. Right there. And then I just get a slide this gray part away. Take a little while, there it is. And our planetary gear part came out there. This is our two stage planetary gear reduction that's also inside the motor. Get all that out. Okay. Put all the gears back on this. And there's our second stage planetary gear reduction with an intact spline off our medium motor. And then we take this, and here's our first stage planetary gear reduction. And of course, there's our inside of the casing. Webcam quality is not very good here. Anyway, put this part all back together. Right in there. Right here. And we just put our little cover back on. And our planetary gears back together. Now this is the casing in the motor armature of the medium motor. I can just push that one out. And that's the little motor that's in the power functions medium, but also in the EV3 medium motor. It's got the same kind of armature. Now this one still has the thermistor connected on it, and it's right there. And as you can see, it shorts between the two terminals here. So as this motor heats up, the thermistor drops in resistance, and the motor stops running. But again, this motor has some kind of issue with it. And when it runs, it vibrates, which it shouldn't be doing. And the thermistor immediately trips. So something internal on the motor here is damaged. So this motor is no good. And again, that's the motor of medium motor. We're going to reassemble it here. 
And the thermistor is actually right here on the top of the motor. So if your motor is overheating and you want to try to quickly cool it down, this is where you'll find it, right on the top here. And then we take our planetary gear. Now the top part of this thing doesn't really stay closed until you seal the motor back up. So I gotta have to get in And these two tabs that are on the side line up with the tabs on the side of the motor here. I'm gonna get that slide in here. I have to turn it so. Get it to go in. First time I took this apart, it went on a lot easier. Come on. Oh, not this hard. Oh, okay. That's how it goes. Okay, we got it back in there. Actually, has to be aligned with the top and the bottom like that. Now we got to do is slide this casing back on, and seal the motor back up. And oh, and that little piece came off inside there. There it is. Now the motor's all snapped back together. Just put the screw in, and we're done. And that's it. That's the internals of the medium motor. Now, if you crack open your XL motor or your medium motor, you have to realize that really once you do that, the motors aren't really usable again because you would have damaged the casing getting them open and they're not going to stay together as well. And also, but usually when you have to open these, it's usually for some kind of problem you've got with the motor. So you almost can't really repair it. But that at least lets you see the internals of the medium and the XL power functions motors.